Some of you guys were asking about the uh, Slash High Speed Aero Kit and how to assemble it. I'm going to kind of go through some of the parts in here, what's included and what isn't, uh, what you're using from the stock uh, rig, as well as um, uh, almost zero modifications need to be made, but it, it'll make it apparent about what's going on. This is the rear diffuser. We include the eight pieces of hardware that you need to attach it to each other, or the wings to it. These are coming off of your rear bumper. This is the rear base plate or bulkhead screws that come out of your stock vehicle. This is the left and right battery. I have one set up for the large battery. I have one set up for the smaller battery. We supply the hardware that you need to run through into the stock battery mounts or, or uh, side rail mounts. So these are slightly longer than what you have as far as stock items. Uh, here we have the front bumper kit that is included in the speed kit. Uh, when you open this up, you're only going to need one part out of it. You will uh, use the body posts that are already on your vehicle. So you'll use this bumper part uh, and then the two body posts. These are the original stock mounts and these are the pieces that come off of the body posts of your original kit. Uh, this is the front bulkhead hardware. Uh, you will need two screws, M3 screws that uh, drop down through there. Uh, those are not included in the kit, uh, but moving up to the front. Sliding back over the battery bumper, I have one already installed on this one for the larger battery. This is the same thing on the secondary battery. We include this hardware. Most of them are already pre-installed at the standard battery height, uh, but certainly they are adjustable uh, on any type of battery uh, length that you desire. Uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. Rubber shorty pack. So you can adjust it all the way down to a shorty style and just move the bumper down to where it makes contact. Just like that. Uh, front bumper is a three piece unit as well, just like the back. We supply the hardware and to uh, attach the wings and then your stock hardware is going to attach to the bulkhead. These are coming down off the front bumper extension. Most people are running this type of bumper set. Uh, but that kind of covers the kit and what its contents of and we'll go through the assembly here in just a second. I'm going to go through and do the pre-assembly of everything you need before we do the attachment to the vehicle. These are all very straightforward. These come with two, uh, two different link screws. You can see the, the back one is slightly shorter. It's for the taper inside of the wheel well. So just line the front columns up together. Just to where it's snug. It is PLA, so don't over tighten, guys. I went just to the point where the, the electric drill creates a little tension. For all those fans out there, you might want to use a hand, hand tool if you prefer. set for the standard battery. Adjust to your references. Flathead screw set from underneath the platform. straps too, one for the large and one for the smaller battery. Uh, we'll get to the hardware for this. The rear wing assembly is just a mirror image of the front. All of these screws are all the same length, so just four per side. Little pilot hole. And ascend them down, down into where it catches.
I'm available. Let me start with the rear end first. Do the bulkhead screws first. Really doesn't matter. You can assemble it in kind of any order you want. Left, right wing, front, splitter. It goes directly into the bulkhead. You should be able to use stock screw, the stock screws from the original to fit this piece. stock mount. Your stock screws should fit from the previous bumper that was already there. Go sliding that, the tower down to put it under a slight amount of pressure. Just the point where it's not. That's it for the back end. Left and right wing, mirror images of each other battery mounts slide in just where the side rails were before try to place that nub up underneath the servo and the steering arm it's just a little point of contact to prevent vibration it really doesn't carry any amount of the weight uh, once this part is engaged to the side clips you can pretty much pick up the vehicle from it the hardware is a secondary securement point These screws come with the kit, they're slightly longer than the original. the way of the battery and the vehicle itself. The right side is just a repeat of the left side. Same thing, tab placement first. Press upward against the body panel in order to engage the clips and the screws we supplied. running the foam bumper you know, this will be a benefit to you just pull the whole bumper off of the bulkhead attachment points the new bumper slides in the same spot uh, I did notice upon prototyping it's a little bit of a snug fit just so you know it should be a fairly uh, snug gap that you're sliding into same hardware off of the stock goes down through the top of the bulkhead or the front disc splitter same hardware that came on your stock you have to change tools slightly larger hex here they are countersunk so you will not need a, a thicker screw here as a side note just we're gonna be including this washer you can see the M3 is kind of a, a loose fit to the bumper upgrade that we could supply.